we're here at the Open, which is the original golf championship. It's the oldest golf championship. And we're also sponsoring the AIG Women's Open so that it's not just men's sports, but also women's sports that we're actively engaged in and, and sponsoring. And now it's unified RNA and Ladies Golf Union are come together as I one. And it's just one golfing union. So so excited to see the Entity Data team there. It has been so much fun walking around here at the Open with you and having people stop you and <laughs> want to shake your hand, want to take pictures with you, want to take selfies with you. How does it feel to be a, a pro of the sport at the sport? I, it's, do you know what? It's really nice because meeting all these amazing young ladies That's that are right. out here enjoying golf. And Girls of all ages. Yes. More and more. More and more. More and more getting interested in golf and in the sport. My name is Beth Hallow and I am nine years old. My name's Lauren and I'm nine years old. My name's Sophie and I'm six years old but I'm turning seven on the 27th of July. Ooh! Happy birthday so, coming up here. Did you see like the big like screen, the big data wall yeah. by the shop? Have you yeah. seen that? Mm -hmm. What do yeah. you think of that? That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that, that that's her thing? That's, that's what, my, what my company does. <laughs> Isn't that's that so cool? cool? Yeah. Do you go? Yes. Yes? Are you good? Yeah. Awesome. Are you beating dad? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Way to go. That's great. Do you want to be a professional golfer one day? Yeah. Emma's a professional golfer. Yeah. She's a very I... famous golfer, actually. How old are you? Seven. Seven. So when I was seven, I played my first national championship. When would you like to play like your first big competition? Uh, when I'm about eight. About eight. That was so much fun. How old were you when you first became interested in golf? I started when I was five. And it was kind of a development, mm -hmm. but um, kind of grew and we did it as a family. Yeah. And then by the time I was 16, kind of made the decision that I wanted to turn professional. That's when you knew. I'm so happy that I'm probably the last generation of young golfers that don't have representation, that I didn't really grow up with a strong female role models looking up to golf uh, because we weren't able to see anybody on TV. Yeah. And I only knew one name up until I was pretty much 16. Which name was that? That was Laura Davis, the yeah, great of dame. Course, of course, the great dame. We spoke to the girls and they knew some of the names. That and they was knew really the impressive. For these girls to be able to see and name the, the golf greats that, that they look up to and that they aspire to emulate one day was, it was a lot of fun. And, and so I think people like you inspiring them, the women that they're following inspiring them, I think that's gonna create more and more interest for, for girls and for women of all ages to get yeah. more and more involved in the sport. And I'm sure I'm gonna see that reciprocity happen to you over the next <laughs> couple of days well, because you are a superstar for thank NTT you, Data. Thank you, thank you. And now, we're moving onwards from Royal Troon and we're going to go to the AIG Women's Open at St. Andrews, That's amazing right. venue. You are a sponsor there. Yes. And yeah, it's a, you know, it's a commitment to diversity, equity and inclusion that our company has. So we sponsor both the Open and the AIG Women's Open. And it's important to us to have that balance in our portfolio. So thank you for inspiring us uh, all. Thank you for being a role model. Thank you again for being our golf ambassador. It's been it's been a lot of fun spending this time with you and with the, the other spectators out here. Thank you for including me and I definitely look forward to going on to the AIG Women's Open at St. Andrews in a couple weeks. I'll see you there. Thank you very much.